panels on and they're not working. So for real though, there were issues getting the solar panels up and running. The inspector came, slapped the green sticker on saying we were good to go, but the solar panels themselves were wired wrong and it took a while to figure that out. Things are correct now and they said that if I lose power, I don't have to do anything to the breakers down here. The panels will actually shut off and the generator will kick on and then once we get power back, everything turns on right again. There is a blue, green, and red light. The red light means it's not working. Blue is communication and green means everything is a go to work. Okay, so we are finally active. As you can see, it's an Pretty heavily overcast day. They're actually calling for storms and rain here soon. So it's a good day to see this at its worst. Uh, it took a few hours to get this thing turned on and ready to use. Uh, there were some wiring issues and the inverter itself, they have to add a computer chip to it and do some programming with it. So it was actually a lengthier process to start this up than I expected. But it's running now, for now. I actually have to shut it back off here in a minute. And I have to shut it back off until Consumers reprograms my stupid meter. So I'm going to show you the app right now and what the app looks like. So this is the app for Solar Edge. You got to get it opened up here and the screen and the data updates every time you open it. And then the usage and power coming in changes live while you're watching it. You can see at the top there, I am producing 2.41 kilowatts of energy while it's this cloudy out. I'm only using 1.32. You can see the arrow going to the light bulb. And I am giving back to the grid 1.02. I'm actually really not currently giving anything back to the grid. Apparently consumers have to do an update to the meter before I give back and I'm supposed to shut the solar panels off until then. Here there is an image of each individual solar panel and what each individual solar panel is producing at the time. So a couple other quick examples of the app here. Right now I'm producing exactly what I was using and now I am using more than what I'm producing so it shows power going into the inverter and into the house from the power source not from the solar panels. There it is again at 0.18 kilowatts being used from consumers. Now it's 1.61 because I kicked the microwave on for just a second to show you the spike with the microwave use. So it definitely kicks on and shows it in the moment, which is super handy. So here we are almost two full weeks after the solar panel system could be completely active and producing energy for us. And we still are not allowed to turn it on because Consumers has not given us the thumbs up. So I had to sign a contract with our electricity company. And then they have to sign it and they have to give permission for us to turn the solar panels on. And they have not done that yet. This is 18 weeks now into this whole experience. We started this May 13th. And we were told then this whole process would take six to eight weeks, and we are 18 weeks into this. So the length of time this has taken is not a great experience. If you're considering solar panels, I would definitely look into this very early spring, like January even. And then they'll be up and running throughout the whole summer because now we'll have a reduced amount of energy we'll be creating and we'll still have our electric bill plus the bill for the solar panels all winter long until next year. We did get this little sign finally that we had to attach underneath our meter so that it gives a heads up to anyone coming out to work on the meter or the power that we have a solar panel system, even though it's not active yet. I am hoping to hear in the next couple of days that we can turn these solar panels on and the unfortunate part is, the next couple of days are supposed to be cloudy and rainy. So once we get these things turned on and we can start messing more with the app and see how they work, I'll definitely update with another video.